Today's Project Diary is a really quick and simple tutorial on how to collect lily seeds from pods. Hi and welcome to Project Diaries. Today we're going to talk about lilies. Now I've done a playlist on these already. If you haven't seen it, the link is on the screen. I've taught you how to grow them from bulbs and I've taught you about scarlet lily bug, which is the nemesis of these and they will strip the flowers and the whole plant until there's nothing left. So check that out if you don't know about those already. But today we're going to talk about collecting the seeds. Now it's the middle of summer. As you can see, it's a scorching day. So these aren't ready yet. Now these are uh, a single bloom, so there's no need to deadhead these but the flowers won't come back if you cut them off. That's one bad thing about lilies, but they are absolutely gorgeous. So what we're gonna do is give you a bit of a close up, show you what, to ha what happens, and then we're gonna go later on in the season, maybe about two months, and we're gonna show you how the pods form, and then how to collect the seeds from there. So let's check this out. Now if you don't know already, I grow ornamental lilies for my dear old nan who passed away many years ago. I absolutely love looking at these because it reminds me of her. This variety are called stargazers and I think they're absolutely beautiful. Now lilies are perennials, they will come back every year but it's been pretty tricky to grow them this year. As you can see there's a lot of wind and we had lots and lots of cold rainy weather at the beginning of the season so these are really delayed. But thankfully I filmed this harvest video last year so I can show you in today's video. Now depending on weather conditions oriental lilies can last between 7 and 14 days but if you can see this part here the stamen is the male part of the flower. The filament is the stem that holds the anther and the anther produces the pollen. But you definitely don't want to get that on your clothes because it's really hard to get off. I've also got some calla lilies growing down here but as you can see they're quite late in the season too. And this one, this flower here has already been damaged. But you can now see the stigma which is the female part of the flower. Hopefully by now it's been pollinated and this is where the seed pod will form. I'm just going to clear off these petals so you can have a better look. So this long stem is the female reproductive system of the flower called carpal. So at the very tip is the stigma and that receives the pollen. Then you have the long stem or style which connects to the ovary. So once these flowers have been pollinated, die back, that's where the seed pod will grow. So we are due some really bad weather, so the wind's just gonna knock these out completely. So what I'm gonna do is not deadhead them. I'm gonna allow the seed pods to form and then show you how to harvest the seeds. And here's how to do it. So I grow these beautiful huge lilies right outside Grandad's front door but as you can see they've been battered by the wind. We've not even had one day out of these this year. They've only just opened. Some of the heads have already been knocked off before the bloom. And it's so upsetting because I use the flowers in Grandad's garden to encourage him outside and just enjoy nature and fresh air. But I'm not going to be too disheartened because we've still got lots of dahlias to come out later on in the season. And as you know I love dahlias! <laughs> So here's the footage from last August and as you can see I've just lost the blooms and that's just left the carpal standing up by themselves. Now as I've got many different varieties of lilies in the garden, some are more advanced than others so as you can see here, the styles have fallen off leaving the ovary at the base. And if we look over here you can see these ones are starting to swell up forming the seed pod already. So these are actually great examples, it shows you all the stages of the seed pod forming. This one's around the middle and as you can see here this one's huge but it's just not ready yet. So I'm colour blind so I'm going to guess this is red. <laughs> but this will basically break up into a few more segments but it will be a lot more predominant. And it will lose its coloration over the next few weeks but that's a fantastic example to show you. But as you can see it's been raining quite a lot so we really don't want this to rot. So I'm going to keep an eye on it over the next few weeks and see how we go. Now this will be the same process for all lilies but the seed pod may change in size and the seed shape may change significantly as well. These ones are canna lilies and will form a very different seed pod in comparison to the ornamentals that I've been showing you. This is what the canna lily seed pod looks like and I think they look amazing. They look a bit like a lychee which I also really really like and they produce smaller black seeds. Day lilies and rain lilies produce a pod like this. As you can see it's got three significant segments and it produces fewer but larger black seeds. The calla lily which again I find absolutely beautiful produces a pod like this. They look similar to baby corn on the cob but these aren't actually the seeds. You'll have to break down this fruity texture and the seeds will be inside. But again you'll have to wait for them to mature and dry out a little. Another one of my personal favourites is a water lily. Now they produce a very large and significantly different seed pod than all the others. But they're all fairly easy to harvest the seeds from once you know how. So going back to last year's footage, this is the end of September and as you can see the rain stopped and we got some beautiful sun. This went all the way through to mid-October so thankfully none of these seed pods rotted. So I was able to allow these to mature really nicely on the plant and I'm able to harvest quite a lot of seed pods for you today. So what I'm going to do is take these into the shed and show you what's inside. 
Now, if you find that you've had a lot of rain, what you want to do is leave these pods indoors for around a week and let them dry out. When they start to naturally split, that's when they're perfect. But as you can see, these are really dry, so it's going to be so easy to harvest the seeds out of these today. So for all those people that have still got a problem with my fingernails, a thumbnail is the best tool for the job here. <laughs> So you just put your nail in the seam and it should break apart really nicely and as you can see there is loads of seeds on the inside here. Now for a lot of the other lilies that I showed you just now you may get around 9 to 20 seeds out of those pods but for the ornamentals you get absolutely loads so if you're growing these from seed for the first time you get way more chance of germination. Oh and if you want to learn how to make this handy little trowel the link is on the screen now. This is also a really handy tool for pouring seeds back into seed packets. And if you don't know how to make your own seed packets by now, the link is on the screen there. These are absolutely fantastic, free to make and keep your seeds dry and moist free for a couple of years. So I've only done two out of the three seed pods that I've harvested today. And as you can see, there's already loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of seeds coming out of this. And the best part about growing lilies from seed is they love to be planted in the autumn or fall, which means you can sow these as soon as you get them. If you'd like to learn how to grow lilies from seed, let me know and I'll make a video as soon as I can. Also, let me know in a comment below which lilies you love the best. And it's as simple as that. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and happy growing. If you'd like to keep up to date on all of my future releases, click the subscribe button here. Here are some links to some of my other videos. And if you've tried this or any other project, I'd love to see your progress. So please join my Facebook gardening group where thousands of people are sharing photos and ideas daily. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.